Okay, now click on the uh, any manufacturer and type in uh, uh, on your on your keyboard C letter C to change the manufacturer until you see creation with a bracket HK. So you can uh, then select KingCut CT630 or CT1200, depends on your model, and then click on close. And now uh, you need to remember what's the COM number you, com, uh, you connect your cutter to, and then select that um, COM. In my uh, computer, it's COM2. Now click on the device button, the right hand side device button, and click on Wino page size setting, and change the moving direction to Y. By default, it was X, but you need to change it to Y, and press OK, and press Yes to save the setting. Now just double check um, of the COM number, click on setup, parameter, to make sure it's on 9600 bar weight and DTI is ticked, RTS is ticked, X, X on off is unticked. And press OK to save it and press change to save the setting. And you should be able to um, communicate with the cutter now. If you're running Windows 7, Windows Vista, and Windows 8, um, you need to do another thing as well. Is uh, right click on the Arc uh, Arcad 2009 icon, select properties, and go to compatibility, and tick run this program as administrator. You need to do this, otherwise um, the, the program may not communicate with the cutter properly. So click on the prime and press OK. So every time you run the program now, it will ask you, uh, is the cutter, is the program, uh, do you allow the program to run it as administrator? Just click on yes to run it. And now your cutter should be um, all set up.